Hello everyone, Tyler with Diesel Laptops. We are hooked up to a 2009 Freightliner with a Detroit. So this is intended to show you exactly what you can do with a Texa on a Detroit. This is uh, done in uh, late September of 2016 on version 39.1. So right now we did a global scan, kind of picked up all the different uh, systems on the vehicle. We'll click on diesel injection and go from there. We'll click the little ECU button. And I'll say, okay, I found two different things. We know ours is a 2007 and newer, so we'll work on that one. And we'll hit self-diagnose. So as we get connected here, um, the thing to always keep in mind with the Texa is what you can do with the OEM software is where kind of the bar is set. And Texa, you know, there's a couple things we can't do like programming ECMs and some of that, that really hardcore stuff that you really shouldn't be doing that often. But otherwise, the Texas system is going to get you really, really close to what they can do with the OEM stuff. And obviously, the way things are done on vehicles kind of changes by year and emission levels. So we'll kind of help outlie a little bit of that here as we go through. So what we're doing now is we're transferring files from our TXT box from our laptop to our TXT box to set it up so that it works properly on an EPA 07 and newer uh, Detroit engine. So. Uh, everything's done Bluetooth. You're able to do it wirelessly. You can be up to 100 feet away, even further in good conditions, and go from there. So as we wait for it here, it should just take up more seconds, and we should be connected right to it. And it's just saying there's some other ECUs on this particular vehicle. And now let's go into the parameter tab. So as you click on the parameter tab, you'll see there's 190 parameters up there in the upper left corner. The red and the green on the right kind of signify the low and the high value while we've been connected to the ECM. You kind of got to give it a second there for things to catch up and for it to display the data, but it will. And we'll go through the list here just so everyone can get a good idea of all 290 different values. And it's not just sensor readings with pressures and PSIs and that type. You'll also see position switches, so they're all in there. All right, so we'll go through that real quick and just keep showing you some more of these to get an idea of what's in here. And let's go over to dashboard and check that out. So the dashboard is gonna give you a graphical representation of what is on the parameter tab. So there's the two dashboards. Faults, again, double click it. We get our generic stuff and we get our SPN FMI. And that is the actual code with Detroit is that SPN FMI you see on the right, 2791. Um, et cetera, et cetera. So everything's in there, all the troubleshootings in here with our DTC solutions and service manuals as well. ECU info tab just kind of tells you rated horsepower, braking horsepower, software levels, everything there. And activations and settings are all the good stuff. So here you go, some great activations you can do in here. Everything you would ever need to do from doing regens to changing parameters to doing any kind of commands that you would want to do. So we're not on the internet right now, so we can't run these ones that say web lock on them. But we just want to show you what's in there. Again, like park regeneration, that's a big one. Let's just show you what it looks like inside the system. So let's make sure we do it by day, month, year. That's the big one with the with all of these. Make sure you put the right, do it in the right sequence. Not month, day, year, day, month, year. Put it in, hit confirm, and it's just gonna say, hey, make sure you cycle your clutch, make sure you do all these other things. We're just gonna show you the menu so we're not really paying too much attention to any of this. The truck's not even running, but there you go. That's what it would look like. As I, I can scroll the bar over here on the right, on, down on the below, and kind of get a view for all the different things that you can monitor while it's doing the regen. So that's how you kind of take a look and see how things are working, what they're doing as the regen process is going. All right, so. That would simply, you just hit the confirm button to start the test. Um, obviously, we're not going to actually do a regen here since if you see our vehicle speed, it basically says engine stop, we got no RPMs, the temperatures aren't up, and there's really nothing going on there. All right, so good information. That's pretty much how the Detroit software is laid out as well. They kind of have all the information in tables. Tex always tries to mimic that the best they can. So that's it for the Detroit, and appreciate you watching. Thank you very much.